a request come up come up on my channel two days ago requested to fix a pagination issue it says bro i have an issue although it's not related to this video i created a list of item and have them paginated every time every time everything is working fine however when i view one of the item detail page on page five and i try to go back uh, it's supposed to be it's supposed to take me back to where i'm of to where i clicked from but instead of that started from page one <laughs> I actually translated it okay now let's see what well, let's see what is actually facing let me open it let me open it up okay now this is the project here we have a um, an array of files ah, I say files an array of um, data from our database this is the blog post uh, a product post now this data is being fetched with the pagination so anytime we click on page two or page three we get a new d data we get a new data with our ajax now this is what he's trying to say if you if you check the url now in my url i don't have a i don't have a i don't have uh, any parameter where it says page two page three it's just basic url just like our normal landing page but it's using an ajax now by default resuming your current page on ajax is not possible but today we are going to make it possible so let's let's dive into it okay so the very first thing is whenever you click on a product you need to save this session we are going to save this current page session that is we tell the system that okay we make a click on a product now the product that we make a click on that that particular session that we are saving on this current controller we tell the system that okay a user has a user have clicked a product then the user need to be taken back to where it's coming from so that's the very first stage okay now let's go to this controller method so i'm going to open my open up my vs code and go to the controller let me take out the terminal okay now this is the product main this is the method for the product i just opened just now here this is the method now in this method section i'm going to i'm going to um make a new a new method here, a new session method so i'm going to say session session put so i'm going to be putting a new session of um page view let me say page view so i'm going to say page view page view so page view will be true so let me make a um, a string true so now I have saved my page view true now to confirm that is working I'm going to copy it and go to my main uh, my main page and print it out let's see if it's actually working so this is the product name above it let's print our session name so session session page view so let's refresh let's see if it's gonna work okay as you can see we have it printed it said true so anytime a user click on view products it will automatically set the session as true automatically okay so we are done with that so the next thing we have to do now let's delete this out let's take it out okay so the next thing we have to do now is we for example once we click on a product and the method has saved has saved our um our session to be true the ones the user is clicking on back once they click on back this particular controller that brings in that brings in the um the product the product view we have to make we have to make it in a way whereby it is the ajax that is launching it to the view not we including the not we including the va in including the file so i'm going to go back to my um, welcome page now and check it through so I'm, I'm going to scroll up to where to where he um, included the file now as you can see he included the file here so by including this file it will really be difficult to uh, to get the page number so I'm going to comment it out 
so once i comment it out i'm going to call this page number on page load so instead of including it there so it's going to be called on page load so on page load page number is going to be fetch so my default page number will be number one so that's one okay let me refresh it and as you can see it's load on page load so to um to make something simple here so the user won't know what's actually happening so again to be um adding a new tag here that says fetching fetching data yes so let's see okay fetching data nice one okay so after that the next thing we have to do is to save is to save the current page number on this on this our ajax this controller this paginate more product ajax we need to save it we need to save our current page number in there okay so to do that we have to go to the um to our controller product controller inside my product controller then paginate more products inside my paginate more products inside the request ajax so i'm going to be uh, i'm going to be creating a new session again so i'm going to say session session um page count or page number rather so page number b i'm going to accept the page the page view let me show you what i want to accept i'm going to accept this parameter this um yes is the parameter exactly the query the page ah if i take out my mouse it will actually dismiss i don't know if you can see it page equals to four page equals to five page equals to seven so i'm going to be taking the parameter then we use it so i'm going to say okay request page so once i request the page the page is going to be added to my page number okay so let's save that and um check it out so i will refresh at the moment it's not showing us the page number so i'm going to move down to my ajax leaks and print in my page number so let's see what we have so i'm going to say session session page number okay so i refresh now as you can see my page number is one now let me move on to the next one number three my page number is three number ten my page number is ten awesome that's great now our session page number is now seven good so we are going to delete it now so the next thing we have to do now is to go back again to the welcome page where we have our default get more page now since we are already accepting our active page and our page number the next thing we have to do now is to introduce our blade format here so we are going to say if if session session page view remember the the main view itself if such on page view value is equals to true if it's equals to true then we print it out first let's do a normal printing if it's equals to true then print session print session page number page number uh am i correct let me let me let me check it out okay page number and page view nice one so print session page number page number nice one so i'm going to be printing page number if the if the page view is equals to true then i'm going to hand my condition here so end if so let's give it a test we refresh the page we control u scroll down we scroll down and check it out okay so my page number is actually set nice one so the next thing we have to do now is to make a, uh we make a value out of this yes we make a value out of this page number so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to override the page number so i'm going to say page number page number equals to this new page number page number equals to this new page number yes so anytime page view is equals to true then this page number is going to run this page number is going to run don't forget so i'm going to save it now and refresh the page 
so now let's give it a test we are in um, we are in page one let me go to page four uh, we have an issue let's see where are we have an error let's scroll down okay function get more page page number equals to four okay we have some issue there's a catch okay good i think we are good to go now let's refresh it the last time was the catch let me see if it's going to work now oh it's not working okay let me clear the, let me clear the view or oh, let me check what's going on here if session page view equals to true then page number equals to this uh i'm good to go okay let me clear the catch let me clear the catch clear the view clear everything so php artisan uh clear clear view ah oh, sorry view clear view clear catch clear catch clear okay route clear let's clear everything and config clear yeah config clear good so uh, i have cleared most of the data now let's let's give it a try again refresh okay page six okay it's not working let me take out this this uh this code and let's refresh i think we're having an issue somewhere let's log in our console scroll down page seven okay working thank god hey now let's paste it inside again and see what is actually happening to us okay scroll down wow it's actually working p3 okay something comes up now now i understand the issue now as you can see i said if page view is equal to true page number will be overrided so as i click on next this page number is overriding our current number now let's solve this problem it's very simple very very simple so this is what we are going to do we are going to say if page number is equal to true then page number is overrided that's the first time now the second time we need to clear this session so we're going to say we're going to bring in php so we say uh at php then inside at php we say session session forgets so we need to forget it that is clear session forgets what are we forgetting we forget page view that's the first one we also forget page number so by doing that then we solve our issue so let's refresh the page and scroll down to page five or oh, page five okay let me refresh it again something is not right okay page six what's up page four okay page two wow it's working ah thank god is my catch no the way Laravel catch data, I don't know. Just, it's just somehow. Okay, if I refresh now, you see number one. If I click on number 10, it load number 10. Once number 10 load, if I click on view products, I'm click on back again. I'm going to resume at number 10. Now, let's see. Back. Okay, I'm in number 10. And if I refresh the page, number one. Awesome, isn't it? That's great. So, let's pass let's pass in our um, page number into let's pass our page number into our fetch data log so i'm going to i'm going to add down to my sorry yes to our fetch data login so i'm going to say fetching if is a page it's going to be it's going to it's going to say fetching page 6 data fetching page 5 data and if there if 
a page is not found it's just going to be empty so i'm going to say if don't mind me so i'm going to say if session page is goes to true so i'm going to be using tanari operator here if it's, if session page is goes to true then say page session number page session number will be fetching page they will concatenate fetching page six or page one whatever so fetching page one data so if is not found then empty let's refresh let's see what we have oh sorry session page view is close to true oh sorry okay 13 page data now if i click on number five and it loads i view products then i go back as you can see 13 page five data okay so thank you thank you so much for watching this tutorial and for the guy that owns this um this problem as you can see your problem has been solved no more issue so your code will be sent to you on my github so see you around again bye